Okay, so this one is a Kenmore 80 series. Uh, so this one here, we're touching up the rust. Basically what you want to do is sand this real good or whatever. Take some steel wool to it. Put your Osfo on it. And uh, a couple of coats, let it dry. And then put a couple of coats of this on it. And that's what we do for that rust. Um, and then this one also has a bad agitator. When you turn it like this, it should grab the entire bottom of the agitator. Uh, but this one, the agitator dogs inside here are shot. And also when it spins, it kind of wiggles a little bit. So basically there's some shoes underneath this uh, basket, drum, whatever, tub, that uh, have worn out. So we're going to replace those. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so we got the top off. And we can see we got rust under here too. And Spidey's. Spider-Man. And we got some kind of like loose screws here. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to treat this rust over here and paint that as well. We got rust here. We're going to paint that. We're going to treat that and paint that as well on the frame. We're going to treat that and paint that. And, uh, and then we get to these things here. Shoes that uh, ride in between uh, the frame and this tripod basically um so yeah that's where those little shoes are and then we need to uh, get in there and uh, replace them okay there's a disclaimer for you this one here on this uh, on these little shoes in here we have to lay it basically lay it down uh there's probably another way to do it but that's the way i do it um so you can see there's like these two little things here hi there spider guy I better leave this town uh okay so so we got these little two little doodads here. There's a, actually a little shoe on top of this. And you can see this plate's kind of, looks like it's kind of rusty. So it's rubbing straight against this, whatever, the uh, the pyramid platform thing. This this plate is supposed to rub on top of those shoes. And those are worn down. And so what will happen is eventually it will um, not, it, it will spin sort of, it, it doesn't balance very easily in other words. So, yeah, that's what we need to do. And we're gonna paint that thing up. I've already primed it. Should be sanded a little bit more, but you know, we'll just try and get these things going. Again. Okay, here are the little slides. So basically, this is the whatever the thing that the uh, drum rides on, and they go right here. So basically, you have to push the old ones out, push the old ones out, stick something in there, and pry it apart, and then put the new ones in. Uh, they go over here on this side, so they gotta go in here. And uh, you just have to line it up so those two little, these two little uh, dowels go in those two little holes Okay, there. so just so it sits in there nice and tight, uh, it will eventually settle in, lock in. But uh, yeah, so that's how those little, what do they call them, snubbers, tub glides, something like that. Okay, so you can see this one's got some wear on it. I was rubbing metal to metal here at one point in time. This may have been replaced because it's still good. Um, so I think that one, that one was replaced at one point in time. Uh, so that's a new one. It looks pretty thick. You can see it. This one looks a little bit thinner. We're just going to replace that one anyway. And uh, so yeah, let's see. We may. I don't think I'm going to sand that. If it's really bad, I would sand it. I would lightly sand it with some fine sandpaper. Drive couplers. Got some wear on it, but it's still good. You can see that this clutch is actually weeping some oil. It could be slipping, but I, I believe the story was that it was still working. Okay, so this is the old one here. You can see it's, it's pretty well flattened out. Basically, I wedge a screwdriver in there and then just kind of pound them out. And uh, so this one here, that's a newer one. You can see it's kind of rounded, beveled on the top there. This one's kind of flattened out. I mean, it's still usable, but it is fairly worn. It does have some oil, it seems, on it or something. Anyway, that's that part. Now this thing here, you just got to kind of fish it in there. It's a little tricky, but you can do it goes in that way right so you gotta get behind there and then kind of fish it in there okay so this one here this is part of the thing that holds the front body in place you can see it's kind of like flattened out bent in 
You can take a screwdriver and just kind of go under it and bend it back up. And so, yeah, that's how they do that. Make sure that one's up. That one's a little bent, but it'll work. This one here is actually broke off. Let's see this. Now, that's part of the old, uh, whatever, tub glide thing. Pretty worn out. So this one, the tang is broke off. See that? Should have a tang sticking up there. This tang is broken off. What you can do is you can't put a screw in there with a nut on it sticking up. That would work. Uh, you could actually put a screw in from the bottom if you want. But usually what I do is put a screw here coming up and it grabs that body. There's the holes, here's the holes on the body basically. It's got to go into those holes. This one on the front. They got to go in those holes. There's another disclaimer for you. And next, we need a 716 socket to get in here. Then we'll start cleaning it up. Find a uh, fine touch up on the paint and uh, should be good to, get, good to go again. Okay, got the agitator out. So, this is basically the agitator. And there's actually a part missing. It's a little guide that goes right on top of this. I mean, it'll still work without it. There is a small, it's kind of like a plastic guide that helps this thing, this thing will ride on it. Could put a little bit of tri-flow on there. A little grease might work. So these are the dogs that wear out here. So you have to use a 7 16 wrench. Sponsored by China. Okay, so here's... You can see they've got these little grooves on these uh, dogs. These grooves wear out, basically. You can take a hacksaw if they're not too bad. And the loud of the muffler. Or low of the IQ. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Uh, these are kind of worn out. You can see there's not much... We gotta have these like ribs on them, right? Ridges, right? That grab this part here. Otherwise, you don't have a very good wash action. Okay, so these are the agitator dogs. I will sell these as well if you need any. You can contact me. So you can see they've got these little ridges on, on there, right? So what those ridges do is they'll grab this spline here. And that, this is designed so that these wear out before that wears out. And so basically, they just go on here, take these off, kind of put them on, just like that. Then you got your ratchet and agitator back in action. Okay, here's the recycling tip for the day. So this is actually a, gl a glue stick, a hot gun, uh, hot gun glue stick. So what you can do is you can actually kind of make ridges in this, on this end. Cut it so it'll fit right in there. Hot glue that in. It's like right like that kind of thing. And uh, that'll be a temporary fix. That's the hot glue hack right there. MacGyver and Sons Engineering. Okay, looking better already, right? Okay, so this thing here, it's got these little clips that hold it in. Kind of like, go like that, right? See, now the agitator works. Go that way, it should spin freely. Go this way, it should grab. That's the proper agitation. That's what those little dogs do. They'll let it grab. And so this thing here, basically, uh, let's see, uh, that goes there. And now we gotta start putting it back together now. Well, I've got my little screw in there. I'll kind of hook in here on that front thing. And I had to put another screw in here. That one's kind of falling, falling apart. And now...